Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Hey guys, welcome back. In this session, we are going to look at how to log into instances without using a key pair. Now, by default, when you launch an instance, you use a key pair to connect to the instances. You also have the option of connecting to connecting to the instances without using a key pair. So here uh, we have all the steps that you can use to connect to instances without using a key pair. That is, you can uh, log into an instance using a password. So in case if you you if you lose the uh, uh, key pairs, you have the option of logging to instances by using the password. But um, um, uh, uh, it is recommended that you you do not lose the key pair. You always store it in a secured place so that you can utilize this when you are connecting to the instant instances because that's your uh, secured uh, connection so let's get started with this so the first thing is you'll have to uh, connect to your uh, ec2 instance so this is my ec2 instance now here i'm running a ubuntu ami you can choose any ami for this example or um, any instance uh, should be uh, fine um, it should be a linux instance so here i'm using a ubuntu instance so the first thing is you'll need to log in as a root user so make sure you have the root permission so you'll have to log into the instance and you'll have to become the root user. So here I'm the root user now. Next, you can run this command ssh sshd config. So you'll be running this command. Now what this will do is this will open up this configuration file for your ssh. So this is the file you will see. Now sure, you can scroll down and you will uh, find this one. Okay. Now by default, this will be set to no. You just have to change it to yes. Now, depending on the AMI that you uh, select, in a few cases, you might uh, see uh, this also. You may see something like this. Okay, so this depends on the AMI. Um, no worries, all you have to do is comment out this line and just uncomment this okay once you're done with this save this file so you'll be using control x y and enter to save the file once you're done saving the file you will need to uh, restart the sshd service so you can use this command service sshd restart so i'll say service sshd restart done next you can create your user and you can set your password so once you're done starting the sshd service the next step is creating your user so you can use this command add user and your username to create your user whatever the user you want to log in to the instances so here i'll say add user and let's say uh, test no key pair okay so it's just a dummy username i'm giving you can choose whatever you want so this will be my uh, username i'll hit enter and this will prompt me for the password provide your password for this uh, user so whatever you want you can provide enter confirm the password it will also ask you for this um, uh, data it's optional so simply hit enter 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 and enter and confirm for by pressing y and done your user is created so now we have created a user we have created a password and we have set the password authentication so this is all you have to do um, to connect to your instances without a key pair now let's test this out so i'm gonna disconnect from this instance so i'm back to my uh, local machine and here we will say ssh uh, this is my username at the IP address of your instance so this is my IP address I'll provide this so this is what you will have to use uh, to log into the instance again SSH your username at your IP address now when you run this this will prompt you for the password of that user so whatever the password you have set here provide that and if it is correct you should be connected to your user without a key pair so this is how you can connect to your ec2 instances without a key pair 
now again you have many things here you will need to if you want your user to have root permission you will need to add it to the sudoers file so there are many things but uh, for now uh, this is how you can connect your ec2 instances without using a key pair that's all for this uh, session i will see you in the next video thank you